Hello everyone, welcome to part 5 of creating a space rover on Onshape. At this point we should have completed part 1, 2, 3, and 4 which is the top cover and should be moving on to the assembly part where we're going to add all the parts here but as you notice when I've tried to add in the dimension, I mean when I've tried to add in the components um, this part seems to be short, not reaching down to the uh, boogie down here. So if I just rotate it around, if I move this, shift this upwards, then the balance will not be the same, the wheels will not be level on the same place. And so these are going to be up here while this one is going to be lower. So to fix that, we're going to make some changes in part two. So just going back to the part two and Moving on to sketch one, so just double click on sketch one. Once you double click on sketch one, this sketch is going to be activated. You can just switch on to the front view right here. So you can see the shape um, directly from the front. And we're going to add a few dimensions. Originally we had the 110 here um, added, and we also had the 25 dimension added on this side and added to this side as well. What we need to add now is this line here was not added. So I'm just going to delete that now and then re-add it again. So we are going to click on the construction line here and then we're going to click on the line here and just draw a straight line. If you notice that the line keeps following you again, just click on ESC and the line will disappear. And then from this point on, we're going to go to the dimension click on the line that we just created and then click on this line here and make sure this is 160 degrees yeah so leaving that at that this length was not added in the original video so also add a dimension to this one to 80 so i'm just going to delete that and add it again so going to the dimension clicking on this line here and then making sure that this is 80 mm Again, if your computer is using a different dimension, just type in mm into the um, box and then the dimension will be converted automatically. So you should have 110, 80 on this side, 25 on this side. If you have 25 on this side, then that's fine. And then an angle of 160 over there. Another thing we're going to add is um, extra lines here as you've noticed on this side if I just move on to the assembly part you will notice that this is up too high and it needs to go a bit lower um, so we're just going to add that now by using the line features again so we just start off from this end here and then just go somewhere here and then click somewhere here and move right back into that line there all of these lines should be uh, perpendicular or parallel so for the perpendicular this and this line should be perpendicular and the parallel ones this one this line and this line should be parallel make sure you do those constraints before moving on another thing is adding this line here yeah so I'm just going to go into the construction line and then line here click on this point and go up high and we need to use this to add the angle of this shape here and we do that by going into the dimension clicking on this line and then this line and this should be 155 degrees so make sure that's there and this here should be 25 making sure that this is 25 and this on the other side should also be 25 right so by doing that you get an additional shape here where you can remove um, and you also have extra lines inside where you can remove them easily using the trim feature here so if I click on that line and click on this line and if you want to remove that then you have this full shape here clicking on the tick you notice that the shape has changed now another thing you want to make sure is changing the extrude value so originally we had 25 I'd like you to change that to 31 again I've noticed when I've been doing the assembly that the dimensions have not been enough they're not giving enough space for the motor once we try to add it later on so just make sure that you have this to 31 
meaning you would need to change a few things. So if I move on to sketch two here, there's not much changes that we need to do. So there's just a, um, a distance of three millimeters from this edge and a distance of three millimeters of this edge. Sketch two will remain the same. Second extrude will have to change. So from 22, we'll need to change that into 25. So make sure you type in 25 into that. Yeah, this will give us a bigger space for our motor to um, to fit in. And as you notice, we have some corners which are not fillet. We are going to add the fillet or fix this fillet here soon. But before that, we just need to make sure that sketch three is also done correctly. So sketch three is the one that we created at the bottom. Um, originally, I did not add this dimension here. I just created the uh, rectangle and I had the margin on the side of three on this side and three on this side. I think I've also added three on that side here. This should not be three. So just make sure that the dimension from this point and that point is 25 millimeters. Once you do that, a lot of students have been coming back to me telling me that once they've added the three millimeter margin, it just cuts through this part here. So if you add in the 25 millimeter margin, that will allow you some space before cutting into the material down here. And this will bring us to the shape as you can see it here. The original fillet that we've created was to fillet this part here and then this two um, corners on this side. We'd also like to fillet these other fillets, uh, I mean these other lines, so we can just click on this fillet here, which apparently shows an error. I'm just going to delete that so that I go back into the original shape and I'm going to add a new fillet now. So I'm going to click on the fillet button and then select all the corners that I like to be to make rounded. And that includes the inner sides as well and the outer sharp edges as well. And making sure that this is 12.5 mm if i look at the shape again i will notice that now it's uh, set to perfection now if i look again onto the other side into the assembly part now that we've made all the adjustments it fits perfectly so uh, this part here aligns exactly with the uh, so the boogie aligns with the rocker and all the wheels can be set to be on the same place but if you notice here, if I'm trying to add the components both on this side and the other side, the cut is on the left side here and I would want it to be on the right side. Now the mirror feature is not available in the assembly part, so we'll have to do all the mirroring. Um, studio, which is the second one where we have um, our rocker and we're going to go into the plane so I'm going to select plane and I am going to rotate my shape and click on this one and I would like this plane to be at a distance of um, 120 by 2 so that's a 60 so by doing that I have an additional plane here I have an additional plane, so my original front plane, and then I have plane one on the other side here. So if I just go back up and disable or hide the front plane, I will be left with this additional plane here. From this point on, I can click on the mirror, and I'm going, so it says here, entities to mirror. So that's this one, this is what I'm going to mirror. And the mirror plane is this one here. So my mirror plane here, is going to be just a second and there you go so I've selected the plane here so that's plane one is my mirroring plane and now I have the shape uh, doubled so I have one that's trimmed on this side and then I have the other one that's trimmed on the other side so I'm, if I move back into my assembly shape here and I try to insert both parts all right I will have part one which is here added already and part two which is the mirrored one and I could add both of them on both sides 
which we will get to in a minute. But at the moment, this is the shape that you should end up with before moving on to the assembly. So this is part one, which is our chassis. Part two, the rocker, and we have two of them. Part three, the boogie. And then part four, the top cover. And we will be moving on to the assembly and I'll start from scratch in a bit. <laughs> 